if we look at Bitcoin Cash ABC and we look at where we are, if we take this most recent swing lower, then the 236 Fib, which was at 206, um, is a kind of Fibonacci trend reversal. We're already strongly at, above the daily 20 moving average and we're already headed to the 50 moving average. And the 50 moving average is quite a good next resistance because I'm going to take the other fibs off here because these gaps, you know, gives us give really good um, targets. So the first target then on your long is going to be the top of this gap and the daily 50 moving average. So that level is 275. And then your second target is going to be the top of the gap. OK, and the reason for that is that when these gaps act, you know, Steve Nyson, who wrote the candlestick handbook, say they're like windows on your chart and you can jump back into them, you know, a day or two after you make a gap. But once you leave it more than a couple of days, they become really strong support and resistance levels. So for Bitcoin Cash, these are going to be our targets, 275 initially and 407. Now I'm going to zoom out on this chart because it's all right, I think, to leave the 236 Fib on initially. But once you go beyond it, I like to look at the whole bigger swing and the whole bigger swing here in Bitcoin Cash, US dollar say that if we get through this gap, that our next target is 491. And that's likely where we meet the 200 day moving average as well. So looking really good in Bitcoin Cash. And here we've got our hourly entry. So this 206 level, our 236 Fib was resistance. Then we got above it and then it became support. And now we're carrying on higher. So as soon as we make a new high and remember, corrections are very often three waves. So it may be that we do another swing before we go higher that but if we do, then this is still support at 206 and I'm still looking for 275 next in Bitcoin Cash ABC. If we look at where we are with then Bitcoin Cash Tether, because that pattern where we've seen um, Bitcoin uh, one going one way and one going the other way is kind of negating a bit and everybody's piling into any Bitcoin Cash they can get today, it seems like. So I will say with that breakout in Bitcoin Cash ABC, we may potentially be at resistance here in Bitcoin Cash SV. Uh, and there's a couple of resistance levels that we can get this from. First off, we're, we're going to measure the fibs like this, see where we are on those. There we go. So if I measure, if this is a correction, if I measure from this low that we made on the 23rd of November, and I project and, uh, to the high that we made on the 26th, and I project it from here, we've reached the 618 level. In a correction, that's very common resistance. And so that means that people in the market might try and take some profit here. So 128.72 becomes a potential profit taking level. If we take the whole big high to low swing here. This is also back testing this 61.8 level. And so potentially, as you know, if you reverse to the 618, you go at least to the 382, which we did here, and sometimes to the 236, which we did here. So we could also see another 618. We're still in that golden ratio zone, and we could retest our breakout level here in Bitcoin Cash, US dollar tether. And that would mean back to 89.16 before we go higher again. So I think we need to um, uh, be a little bit cautious at this level. So 121, 128. So when we look at it here, it's fine at the moment. So we've got an, another, we can say, you know, we know if we look at regular candles, we can see that we are getting rejected at this level again. But, you know, it's just a correction. Um, as if we don't pull back too far. But I think if we come any lower, the 89.16 is where we come back to. So protect your profits. If we reverse the trend, if we make a new low, if we trade underneath 110, watch out because underneath 110 would mean 89 next in Bitcoin Cash. So where are we with Bitcoin, the big, big daddy Bitcoin? Dead sideways. This is a 15 minute chart. I've been watching to see what happens on this breakout. Let's start with a daily and a regular candle and we'll look at our daily candlesticks. 
because just like a lot of coins, we've reached the 236 fib last night from the high that we made on the 14th of October. I'm looking at Bitfinex charts today. This is the 236 fib level, 42.93. We could pull back here. And if we do, we could come all the way back to the 20 moving average though. Remember the 50% rule? So the 50% rule with these big green candles mean that if you hold in above the 50% of the open close, potentially we're still in an uptrend. So when we look at where did we hold the lows, 50%, let's see where that was, 4,012. Now we're going to draw that level, 4,012. So now when we go down to the hourly, as long as we stay above 4,012, which we have perfectly so far, then we can say that we're probably just consolidating and, and awaiting a breakout higher. So we've got a double top, potential double bottom. But if we break down here, trade below 4,012, I think that we're going to see a bigger correction in Bitcoin. And that, as we discussed yesterday, that's likely back to the 50% of this rally. So 37.57, um, and that's exactly where we'll meet our previous highs and lows in the 20 moving average. So if we just check a couple of other prices for that 50% pullback, if we do the same thing in Binance, then 50% of the rally is where we'd be looking for to find some support or back test the 20 moving average. 36.48 at Binance. If we look at Bitstamp or Coinbase, we'll do Bitstamp. You can see at Bitstamp we're also at this 236 Fib level. So we're looking for, this is what I'm looking for here. Looking for a pullback to 50%, which would bring us back to 3664 at Bitstamp, and then a second equal leg higher in Bitcoin to 47.69. So look, this leg then and this second leg would be equal. And that takes us up to the daily 50 moving average. It takes us up to a 382 retrace of this five wave sequence. That's going to be our next target. OK, so that's how I'm seeing Bitcoin dollar today, expecting a pullback of 50 percent of this rally. Maybe that's a little bit over and ambitious and I'm wrong. OK, so again, if we look at this most recent yesterday's big green candle, if we close below 50 percent of yesterday's open close, so 50 percent of yesterday's open close here at Bitstamp, 38.78. If we close below 38.78, that will confirm we're going lower. If we hold above it, I may be wrong and we might just keep rallying from here. OK.